During the next two lessons, we're going to talk about how you can work on your body position both at home and at the track. First, we're going to talk about how you can work on your body position at home. And this is nice because you don't have to go to a racetrack, you don't have to load uh, the truck and trailer and get everything rolling down the road, spending a bunch of money to go work on your body position. You can do it from the comfort of your own home. Uh, some riders do it in the garage, some riders do it right in their living room. The things you'll need for this setup are your motorcycle, of course, a rear stand, a front stand or wheel chalk, a video camera, a tripod or other way to position your camera so that it's stabilized and in one position, and a way to play back your video or view your images. Now the execution of this process is really pretty simple. You set up the bike on the stands and in the wheel chalk, you set up the camera, and you climb on board. You want to have your camera facing the rear of the bike just like this. Now once you're on the board of your motorcycle, you want to make sure that everything is stable. You may have to enlist the help of a friend uh, or loved one to come and stabilize the motorcycle, especially for some of the bigger riders, taller uh, riders may have uh, some instability on the motorcycle. So making sure everything's locked down and safe is really important. Now once you're on the motorcycle, get in your body position. Get in the body position that we talked about over the last two courses and really feel that body position. Make sure all the components are there and make sure particularly your head is looking to where the corner would be. Not just straight ahead. Make sure you're actually looking through the corner. and You can even go ahead and visualize the racetrack. Visualize riding your motorcycle. You might want to do this for a little bit just to get warmed up even before you turn the camera on. Get really in the mindset like you're there on the track on the motorcycle. Now once you've got the camera rolling, go ahead and simulate a lap. You can either roll out of the pit lane in your mind and go ahead and, and go around and do a lap uh, or you can just jump right in, jump right into the middle of a race. Again, uh, if you get a little bit too aggressive, it's important to have the bike you know, stabilized really so it's not going anywhere. But uh, once that's in place, go to town. Do a few laps, record yourself, visualize the racetrack as you're going around, as you're using your body position, and then go ahead and watch that feedback. Now, when you're reviewing the feedback, you want to make sure that everything looks right. Everything looks fundamentally sound, all the weights going into the right places. And, you know, while this isn't the perfect replacement for getting out on the racetrack and actually doing the real thing. It's a great thing to be able to go through these motions and really lock in this body position in our minds. This is even something we do at our Ride University events. We get all the students on the motorcycles and we have our instructors there adjusting and critiquing and tweaking their body positions in real time. This is so important to get that feedback to understand what you're doing on a motorcycle. Without feedback, all of this instruction is basically meaningless. Now, you can get your own feedback at home from the camera, just like we're talking about. The session may be a little bit longer than we would do normally at the school, but in the end, you can have similar results. Now, as you review and repeat this process, really look for that triangle of light. That's one of the biggest key indicators we have to understand we have that structure built. We can put that weight into the inside foot peg. If you don't see that triangle of light, or if you see a twist starting to develop, that's really an indicator that probably your butt needs to go back on the seat a little bit. Getting that butt back on the seat is going to allow you to really create that structure and not have it close off by overloading the leg muscle. So always remember that. That's a huge, uh, huge important deal for this. Another thing to think about if you don't see that triangle of light is your foot position. If your foot position isn't quite right, that can mean you're not going to transfer the weight the way that it needs to into that inside foot peg. And that can also, again, start to close off that triangle of light and not allow you to put the weight into the inside foot peg like it should be. So these are the things you can do to practice body position at home and be prepared for your next time at the track. In the next lesson, we'll talk about 
how you can actually go and put this into practice at the track with a review and get the most out of your time on a motorcycle.